Next song is To God Be the Glory. Uh, and it's an old hymn by Fanny Crosby. Uh, and we have key of, uh, some key of G. We have a G. Uh, we have a D. Uh, we have a G, we have a D, we have a C, and we have a G. And again, my G's and C's are played like almost every other recording you see here. I'll explain it every time. The G up here, but at the bottom, we've got the ring finger and the pinky on the third fret, holding down the B string and the E string. So, and that'll be the same ones that are in the middle of the, of the C chord as well. And then we have an A7, which is just an A chord lifting up the ring finger, and that'll give you... But I usually put the ring finger down instead of the pinky and play an A7 like that. So as you can see it, the uh, G string is open there. That's an A7. A D7, I don't, I'm not, I don't play a D7 on this. I just play a D in its place. And a D sus, you just take your D chord and put your pinky down on the third uh, fret on the E string. There's a D sus. So that's, how, that's where that one goes. So it has three verses and a chorus or a refrain as it says on the music here. And so I'll play one verse of the refrain and I'll start the second verse and we'll call it. So. To God be the glory, great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son to yield his life and atonement for sin. That's fade out. That's the second verse. That was where you'll start and just roll with it uh, on the second verse. Thanks.